So we have a completely new visualization type being added, which is the gauge chart. So gauges are useful for when you're trying to compare two different metrics, uh, particularly around performance. So this could be uh, actual versus plan, uh, versus a goal, versus a target of some sort, uh, and to be able to show progress towards that target. So they're very familiar to us from, from driving vehicles and they look kind of like a speedometer in your car. Um, so very familiar to everybody and, and a popular type of visualization to add to your dashboards as well. So here's a few examples of what the gauge charts look like uh, from the reader perspective. So there's a few different styles that you can choose, for, uh, choose from when you're building these out. Uh, as you apply filters, all of the all of the numbers in here would update. So, like if I wanted to go add a new filter here, even uh, let's go add industry as an example. Right, so all of my numbers in here are going to be reflective of that. So this is what it feels like from the reader perspective. And now let's take a look at creating a gauge chart from scratch. So we'll start this as a new tab. So you have a new visualization type over here for the gauge chart. The types of fields that it asks for are, are two metrics. So one which is the actual and one which is the target. So I can use, let's use sales as an example for my actuals. And for my target, you can either have a target field that is part of your data, um, or if you don't, you can just add a calculated field which has a constant within it. So I'm saying here is my goal, and it's just kind of a constant number. Uh, or you could use an if statement and say if uh, region equals east, then this is the target. If it equals west, then this is a target. So you can even kind of make m more targets per some dimension too. But anyway, if you have some field in the data which contains these targets, then you're going to add them into the visualization this way. Uh, quick note, if you are using this method of kind of doing it as a constant, this is going to be repeated for every row of data I have. So Rather than summing those all up, I would want to choose min or max or average. They'll all give me the same result. So now that's my actual value that I put in my constant there. So here within the formatting options for this visual, um, I can change which value is actually displayed. So that's what's changing here in the middle. I could say I don't want to put anything in the middle, or I want to put the actual value of this field, or a comparison. So I want to compare these two values together. And then if I'm doing a comparison, do I want to show it as a percentage of the difference between the two or the difference represented as a percentage? You can turn on or off the labels that go around the outside. You can change the angles at which the gauge you know, starts and ends. So 180 would be a semicircle. And then you can kind of keep going around all the way to a full circle. Thickness will change the actual uh, thickness of that circle itself, of the gauge itself. And the padding in the ranges, so for instance, I have my goal set here at 40 million. I'm hoping that we go past 40 million, so I want to actually leave some additional room there to show how far past we went. Uh, and while it would still be reflected in the number, I want to actually put some padding on here too. So let's put 20% of padding beyond there. So here is where my actual goal is, but we've added another 20% to, uh, to this gauge here. And similarly, I could customize the range to exactly where I wanted it to go if I, if, uh, if I choose this option instead. So we can duplicate that guy. Maybe this goal is my quarterly goal. I have a different one that's my monthly goal. And I could display those both uh, out here on my dashboard. So 
quick walkthrough on how to use the new gauge chart.